In more news tonight, families of the two children found dead in a car at a garage in Alajo say they suspect foul play. They allege the children could not have suffocated to death since the car's side glass was opened. The scene is about 20 meters from the Alajo market, now a sprawling slum. Not many traders were present on Monday, probably because of the circumstances surrounding the deaths of the two children. The children living in the neighborhood with their parents were alleged to have been trapped in this car after having been packed at the garage for six months. At the time of the incident, the car reportedly had one of its side window glasses partially open. If your car is not well, can't you lock the car? Take it for instance, they open, they enter. Why don't you uh, lock your car in the first place? And the car, the glass is down. So the air can pass inside. The glass was down up to now. They put danger on the car. And the glass is still down, how it is. So you can never tell me that is heat. Somebody dumped my people, my kids, inside the car. One of the victims had foam around his mouth while blood oozed from the other's nostrils and ears. 19-year-old Na Ache is the mother of the three-year-old girl. I suspect someone might have poisoned my daughter and her friend because the children couldn't have opened the door by themselves. Nache, who is a single parent, said on Friday, October 15, her daughter, who happens to be the first of two children, was with other children in a confined space and had never attempted entering into any of the cars parked at the garage. Like Nache, family of the other deceased also suspects ritualistic acts. I also suspect the same thing, in a sense that if they struggle in the car, at least somebody might be like this, somebody might look like this. You can never put somebody, they lie down like they slept. That is why we said we don't understand. Me per se, I don't understand. The car that they are inside, no. A little boy of three years can never open that car. But head of the garage, Che Dakwa, described the incident as strange, claiming children are not allowed into the garage yard. We have operated here for three years, and this is the first time such an incident has happened. We don't allow children to come close to the cars. When they do, we spank and drive them away. Their parents are fully aware. He claimed the car in which the bodies were 